Welcome back everyone, Sweet Pet Oscars here, and I'm back with another unboxing video. Today we're going to look at the Sculptures Pan figure by Van Presto. This is a, another figure in the Crane King series of figures, Crane King meaning that they are distributed through cranes in Japan. And so we can't have them here in America unless we go out and import them. And so again, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, I, we do get to pay slightly higher prices here in America for these figures because we don't have them through cranes, but I think, in my opinion, that they are worth it. So, uh, after taking a nice look at this box, usual uh, uh, small biography, I guess, I can't read Japanese, on the sculptor himself, or maybe on how he came to, uh, to the concept for this figure, or this statue, whatever, so... Uh, nice little box, uh, your typical sculptures box, and without further to do, we're gonna open it up. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna switch my camera angle here so we can see a little better, and there is Pan. This is, of course, uh, Gohan's and v Videl's daughter in Dragon Ball GT, as uh, she was shown in Dragon Ball GT. And this is a pretty awesome figure. She looks very nice. I'm not going to spend too much uh, talking about her character, um, so I do want to keep this unboxing relatively short. Her base is very peculiar. She's got this weird triangle... Uh, I guess holder you can call it or like uh, support that goes into the base like so there's a slot for it obviously so the whole base is uh, it's got a stronger presence than, than most bases but I guess you have to have this base to be able to support her body uh, in the air because she is in an, in an action pose you know jumping or kicking through the air and it's a very pretty it's a pretty cool figure uh, I love the pose. I love it when they give uh, these figures uh, dynamic poses like this one. I think it's too bright here. Let's uh, bring it down a little bit so we can see it better. So there is the figure itself. Uh, yeah, that's too bright. Sorry. Here we go. All right. So there's the figure itself. Very nicely detailed. Solid colors all the way around as it is usual for uh, these Ban Presto figures. Uh, again, not a lot in terms of... Uh, no, actually, nothing at all in terms of... Um, you know, like dry brushing or airbrushing or, you know, really like detail painting. But all of the colors in the paint job are very solid, as you, can, as you guys can see here in her shoe. Come on, focus. There you have it. You know, it's very, just a few colors, a couple of colors, but uh, it's nicely done for the most part. Very nice paint job. And then big areas like her pants. Yeah, her pants and like her red shirt here, her skin color are not actually painted but they're just pigmented plastic and it makes sense you know makes it easier so you don't you only have you only you only end up having to paint like little sh details here like the shoes and whatnot maybe the eyes on the face uh yeah pretty much everything is just uh it looks like it might be pigmented plastic and not paint i love the color on her bandana here that she's wearing um, yeah, very nice detail on her gear, her backpack, her chain here. It's uh, rendered in a nice um, metallic color to make it look like metal, like an actual chain. So is her belt here. It's got a nice uh, like coppery finish there, copper paint, whatever, or maybe brass. Um, and it's a very nice figure overall. So let's put it, let's put it on its base. Let's put Pan on her base here, and I think it should go on her backpack like so. Let me see here. Yeah, there you go. So the uh, peg goes right into the back of her bag here, the bottom of her bag. Just a little slot there, and it's uh, pretty solid. And so, yeah, I understand now the base because when she's up in the air like that, the, the weight distribution is off. So you didn't need uh, this triangular base to be able to hold the weight 
She she is solid plastic. These figures are solid plastic, so they do have some weight to them. So I guess you do need a base like that. And uh, once completed, the figure looks very awesome. So not very much assembly required, just technically the base. Aside from that, uh, the figure came all together. All of the parts were already assembled. So very nice looking figure. To let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. It looks uh, pretty sweet to my eye. Uh, very nice uh, cast, very nice paint job. What little paint job we do have in the figure is very nice looking. So, again, uh, this has been another unboxing in the uh, Ben Presto Sculptures series of Dragon Ball figures. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and would like to see more. And I'll see you guys next time.